Give it a shot and try to match these statements up. You got multiplication, division, splitting things up, grouping things together. Okay, it's not too difficult. Grouping things together means multiplication. Splitting things up means division. It's not a trick question. That's all it is. Now, there's a couple things we need to look at before we get into the bulk of the lesson. Number one, if something is going in the upwards direction, we call it the positive direction. If it's going down, if it's sinking, or landing in the case of an airplane, we call that the negative direction. So we assign those numbers positive or negative values. If something is going to the right, that is the positive direction. Just think of a number line. If we go to the left, we are moving in the negative direction. Some other things you need to understand is if somebody owes somebody money, we say they are in debt. You know, last time you owed a buddy or a friend or a relative some money, you were in debt. That makes you in the negative. When you owe people money, you're negative. If you are getting owed the money, you are in the positive. Also, time. Unless you have invented a time machine, time is going to be measured in the positive values. You cannot have a negative time. You cannot have that unless, again, you have a time machine. You can go backwards in time, but you cannot. Time always moves forward. So time is a positive value. Don't make time a negative. Let's look at some word problems and try to understand which of these numbers are negative and which of them are positive. Sally and her friends, let's say five friends, went to dinner together and racked up a bill of $90. Sally was a good friend. She paid on behalf of everybody and they promised to pay her back because they are equally as good of a friend as she is. They wanted to pay her back the money. Calculate how much money each of her friends owes Sally. So Sally here paid the bill. Her friends are going to pay her back. Her friends are in debt to Sally. How much money do they owe her altogether? They owe her $90. So this $90 is going to be a negative $90. How many friends? Now, this isn't going to be one person paying it back. It's going to be split up. This debt is going to be a shared debt. The debt is shared by five people. So we are going to do what to this number? We are going to divide it. We're going to go negative 90. I ran out of space for my dollar sign. We're going to go negative $90 divided by 5. Oh, yes, I did it. I wrote it like a fraction. You don't have to. You can write it like this. You can go negative 90 divided by 5. You could do that. But is that 5 a positive or a negative? Well, ask yourself, what does it represent? It represents people. Are people ever negative? Hopefully not. No, oh, people are positive. Hopefully in personality as well. We got positive five and we've got positive five. So people, time, they're always going to be measured in positive amounts. Can't have a negative one person or something like that. It's always the guy's there or he's not there, right? So we have this here. We're going to divide 90 by five. One's a negative, one's a positive. Remember the rules for dividing negatives and positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. And then divide the numbers, you get $18. Put it in brackets. So that means the first person, the first friend, and the second friend, and the third friend, and the fourth friend, and the fifth one, they each owe negative they owe $18 each. We don't say they owe negative $18. We just say they owe $18. And the word owe is represented with the symbol negative. And I could put my dollar signs in there. You go ahead and do that. I'm going to skip on to the next question. We have a submarine. Submarines are descending. So that's going down. Probably negative numbers. It's going down six meters per second. Remember, oh, look at this rate. They've come back to haunt us. I love rates. Rate of six meters per second. We can write it as a rate since we've done that unit. We can write six meters. Oh, Mr. Malham, it's negative six. It's going down. Way to go. Over one second. That's what it means. Six meters per second. 
Is that a positive or negative time? Positive time. All time is positive. We're going to write down, well, let's figure out what it says. It says calculate how long, how long what? How long means time, right? We got to figure out some time value. So I can make my equal sign. I can put X seconds because I don't know how long it'll take. It asks me how long to descend a total of 900 meters. Descend means negative 900 meters. We can pop it in there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's just cross multiply and divide. Cross multiply these. What's positive one? times negative 900. Negative 900. We're going to do this. We're going to go positive 1 multiplied by negative 900 and then we're going to divide it by negative 6. Remember cross multiply and divide? We're going to cross multiply these and then divide by the leftover number. Positive 1 we can go back to some bed mass here. Positive times negative is negative. 1 times 900 is 900. Put it in brackets. Put divide. Who needs a calculator? You don't need a calculator for this. It's not how we roll here. We got negative 900 divided by negative 6. Now, you could do long division here. I can just do this in my head. I know it's going to be 150. So look what happens here. When you divide these two, Negative divided by negative equals a positive, which is good because we need time, and time is always positive. 900 divided by 6, though, is going to be 150. We can put it right here and say this here is going to be 150 seconds. It's a positive value. Here's question 3. We've got a 40-question multiple choice exam. Has the following grading system. Every time the kid gets it right, gets a question right, he gets three marks. Every time he gets a question wrong, he loses two marks. The teacher will actually take marks off for wrong answers. Won't give a zero for it. He'll just, or she will, he or she will take the marks off. Will deduct. And each unanswered question is awarded zero marks. Calculate the number of marks a student would get if they answered 25 correct and so on. Okay, so I would do this. I would write correct. I would write down that he got 25 correct. Is this a positive or a negative 25? It's a positive. You can't do negative questions. It's like time, you know, you, or people. It's either they're there or they're not. So they did 25 questions. Each one is going to be worth three marks. We're going to multiply by three. Positive or negative? I hope it's positive because he's getting it right. So his marks will increase. So we have 25 multiplied by positive three. Okay, that's going to be positive 75. Put it in brackets. Positive 75 marks. We may as well put some units there. Now, the incorrect ones. That's the one where he's going to get deducted for it. So he's got, now, he scored nine of them incorrect. Is that a positive or negative nine? Positive nine, right. He got nine questions wrong. Yeah, I know wrong means X. You get X's on your test for wrong. But what this nine stands for is that there were nine questions and you can't have negative questions so you write positive nine the negative will come on the deduction the deduction will come right here so we are going to multiply the first one he gets negative two the second one he gets negative two the third one the fourth one they all get negative two so we're going to multiply by negative two so he lost a total of negative 18 marks And then the unanswered, so unanswered, is going to be, he got six of them, so that's positive six questions, multiplied by zero each, so we have zero marks. Now to get the final answer, we have to combine all of these. The teacher is going to say, 
I'm going to combine all these marks. So they're going to take the positive 75. Combining means adding. We're going to add negative 18 marks, and then we're going to add the zero to it. You know what that's going to create? It's going to create this. We got to look at those signs. Go back to that video if uh, you don't remember that. If these are different, we go to the left. So we have 75 on our number line. Here's 75. It's a positive. We're going to go to the left 18 times. That's just like going 75 minus 18. That's going to be 57. So these two here will make 57. And then add the zero, you just get 57 marks. So this kid started out with 75, and then he got a whole bunch wrong. He lost 18 marks, and he ends up with 57 marks. Ah!